good day, beautiful people. I feel extremely blessed that I am able to connect with you all today from the Colorado mountains. Um, I have amazing people in my life who have beautiful spots to stay. Um, so I want to just talk to you all about, once again, connection. Um, as a healthcare practitioner, so much of the symptomology I get in clinic are people like stuck in their heads about things. and. And not just stuck in their heads like pontificating thought processes, but um, literally like their symptoms in their heads. They have congestion, they have migraines, they have, um, they have flightiness, they have anxiety, they have palpitations. Like everything is up, 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 up. Which makes a lot of sense because our society is based on thought processes. Our society, um, literally our society takes us out of what grounds us, like takes us out of the ground. So right now I, w I walked up this little mountain with no shoes on and there's all kinds of little spinas, like little things, you know, and, um, and that means I have to be present. It means I have to pay attention to my feet. Okay. Like if, if I don't want to get stabbed with a little porky, porky pine thing or a pine cone, I have to make sure that I'm paying attention. I have to bring my attention down. I have to ground. Um, that's really, really powerful medicine, especially if you're a person who's like all the time, which I have a tendency to do. I'm a very, um, very prominent fire type, as some of my practitioner friends like to remind me. Um, so it's just such good, wonderful medicine to be able to be out in in nature. I can smell pine. I can connect with trees. Um, our ancestors, no matter where they're from, were earth-based peoples. A lot of them were nomadic. They listened to the winds. They watched the skies. They watched the stars. They watched the animals. Um, some of the greatest medicines were found by observing the animals. Like when bears came out of hibernation, they would go immediately for the Osha root. And the Osha root is, um, is an invigorator, a waker upper. It's spicy and it's warm and it's pungent and it opens the lungs. It like starts life over after hibernation. So these are our ancient wisdom kinds of things that happen. Um, so I encourage you all, wherever you're at, to find yourself at least once a week, even if it's in a park where there is nature, there's grass. That's the original vibration. We get so caught up in the external, in the extensions of ourselves, which are cities, um, asphalt, computers, all the things that are not on our original vibration. That's why we get taken so far off. So oftentimes people will come with me and I'm like, when's the last time you when's the last time you had your feet on the earth? And it's been winter, so I get it's not the best time to go out. Um, but it's really, really powerful medicine to get into nature and, and hold space there and love space there and breathe in the air there where there's not all of this intense she really likes it too. Look at what's on your nose. Yeah, it's, it's like sheep's fur. <laughs> it's good for your microbiome too. Immune system stuff. Okay guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.